So, congratulations. Thank you. You've done a beautiful job with these pieces. How do you approach sustainability in your work with NJE World? There is a big problem because we exist this animal species called human. Our difference, our legitimacy is to create. We are the only animal which create intelligence. But now we have worked so well, we have produced so much, there is too much materiality. That's why now we have a problem, which is how continue to be ourselves, creator, producer, and at the same time, make less. It's what I try since ever, because I, I know this, I know this subject. Uh, that's why I tried always to go to the minimum, minimum of minimum, what we do with AI. When I ask the uh, artificial intelligence this question, can you help me to uh, rest my body with the less possible materiality and the less possible energy? And now we, the AI is a huge success and it's really the minimum of the minimum of the minimum. It's impossible to make less. Next year that will be in uh, organic plastic, that will be, that will be completely virtuous. It's, it's a perfect product because the, the product is organic and the design, and that is very important, it's timeless. Uh, that's why the subject is to use the minimum of everything and to design for longevity, uh, for transmission, for heritage. The, this, this word, when I was young, was horrible, it was uh, so old. But to the modernity is longevity. If everybody in the world think twice before buying and consuming, we have no more problem. That is my way uh, to do, uh, to use only intelligent material, but the less possible. Do you think that this will sacrifice craft? If we're using AI to be as efficient, as, as minimalistic as possible? No, first, we have to consider uh, the, the work of AI like craft. It's not a hammer, but it's, it's, it's a tool. That's why the people who make the program are craftsmen. They are dematerialized, but it's the same thing. It's just a continuation. It's not, it's not the enemy which arrive like that, which will destroy everything. No, first you have to understand it serves us. Also, we need AI. If you see the human production, it's very incredibly intelligent. But always a part is good, a part is bad. Hopefully we can see we are alive, that means there is always more good than bad. AI will be like everything we do. That will be a very good part, we need it, and a very bad part. That is our life, our life of creator. You've described the Olena chair, your new chair for NJ World, as an ecotech vision of the middle age chair. Can you describe what yes. the same means to you? You know, I have spent my work using plastic, aluminum, and things like that. But I am a guy who lives in the nature. I live in the forest, in the dune, and the waves, in the mud, and things like that. So the problem is I love nature, I respect nature, and I don't, I don't want to kill trees to make a seat. That's why I never really work with wood, until I realize that if I use plywood, which is hyper-modern, I use almost nothing. When you see this, it's four millimeters made of layers of half millimeters. It's nothing. I can make what I want. It's very rigid, very light. That's why the material, it's really low high tech. And after you have to continue the elegance. You are sit on an armchair made of two pieces. Uh, the other is made of three pieces. That means it's, it's almost nothing. After there is no glue, no screw. If you want something elegant, elegant not for clothes, elegant in the relation with everything, with, uh, with the community, with the nature, uh, everything, I bring back the clavet. The clavet is just, you make a hole in the wood and you make just this and clang it's finished. And that's a beauty. It was used for the cathedral, it was used by Japanese, by everybody in the world. That's why collections no more build on culture. It's built on, I hope, intelligence, ecology, and honesty. Nothing trendy. 
Because if it's trendy today, that would be out of trend tomorrow. That's why we can think this can be for you, for your daughter and your granddaughter at minima. So tech is helping us express craft and creativity in a more sustainable way. That's how you see it. It is. It is. And you said earlier that there's a bad side of human intelligence. I agree. But do you think nature is the ultimate filter of the bad side of intelligence? It ultimately will be what, what kills off the bad side of human intelligence. We have to, to live in intelligence with everything. Everything is connected, I'm sorry to say that. But it's true. Before, it was a philosophy, it was a theory. Uh, now, no choice, it's an urgence. Some will do it for good reason, some will do it for bad reason, good business, but we shall do it. We shall do it too late, uh, but we shall do it.